What's up, you guys? This is Tattooed Curls here, and I'm back with another HS video. So today I decided to do another HS video because my last one I made about a year and a half, two years ago, got a lot of good feedback, and a lot of people suffer from this that, you know, I didn't know. Like, I thought only a few people around the world got this, you know, immune disorder or whatever, but it's a lot of people that suffer from this and ingrown hairs and KP, strawberry legs, chicken skin, whatever you want to call it, and HS, hydrogenitis, supertivia. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but HS is just what I say, you know, for a shorter, shorter term. I have some tips written out here for what has helped me over the years because I've had this since I was about 10, when I hit puberty, basically. So um, from the ages of 10 to 13 is when it started popping up like that. And I was like, what is this? <laughs> It could be hereditary sometimes because my grandma, she has boils under her arms and um, I was breastfed. I really think like when you breastfed, you really take on things from your parents and your parents' parents. So yeah, it can be hereditary and there's nothing wrong with you. A lot of people all over have this, you know, autoimmune disorder. So I still wear tank tops and things like that, but when I'm, I have to lift my arms or anything like that, I do wear long sleeve shirts. So, you know, I'm not that bold to just lift up my arms and show it, <laughs> but uh, power to the people that are, but I'm not. So, um, yeah. So my first tip is I don't shave because hair really doesn't grow under my arms anymore uh, because of what I have under there. Um, I started using Nair. I did a patch test at first because I wanted to, you know, see if it would burn or anything like that. But it didn't burn me as long as I didn't have an open wound or whatever, like my meat wasn't showing, you know, I could do it. So shaving is a no-go because it causes ingrowing hairs, which will turn into, you know, boils if you don't stop it before it starts. So my next tip is to use an all-natural de deodorant. Um, I got mine from Amazon. It's aluminum free, it's um, fragrance free and everything like that. So I got mine also from Lowe's Foods. That's a grocery store and on the aisle with, you know, the deodorants and the soap and all that, they have it up there, the deodorant. It's, I think it's a Tom's deodorant. I have it in my closet, but I do not feel like getting up and going to get it. <laughs> but if you guys do want to see it, let me know and I will do a product haul on everything I use for my HS. Um, so my next tip is to eat a healthy diet, balanced diet, look up, um, nightshades i have to do more research on nightshades but it's basically i think vegetables that make you flare up like potatoes or tomatoes or anything like that and um find your body's triggers so if you eat these type of foods and you find yourself breaking out or getting boils and things like that then that might be a trigger food for you that you need to stay away from my next tip is do not smoke it just makes your skin worse um anything that you put in your body especially HS people, we have very sensitive, you know, immune systems. So we want to keep it as healthy as possible and intact as possible. So that goes along with the food that we put in our body. I want to start meal prepping soon. Um, and also looking up nightshades that may trigger my, um, my boils or whatever coming and going. So it's tip is to use Hippoclans or an antibacterial soap with a no fragrance. Uh, Hippoclans, you can get that at like Walgreens or anything like that. It's like 13 or $14. It's pretty expensive for the little, it's a little blue bottle and it says Hippoclans. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but Hippoclans, H-I-B something like that. And that's what surgeons use, doctors use to clean, you know, their patients or their wounds or whatever when they're doing surgery or out of surgery so it's very it gets you very clean so that's what i clean um if i have open wounds that's what i clean with and it doesn't burn or anything like that you want to do a patch test anytime you use anything new the tip is to use bentonite healing clay mask uh mixed with water and acv to detox your underarms a acv is apple cider vinegar so you want to use a little bit because you need to dilute it with water because apple cider vinegar is very 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 strong i'm trying to tell you right now is you can use it as a toner for your face you can use it in the mask if you haven't heard of the bentonite healing clay mask um they sell them on amazon but it's just like a um powdery substance that you mix with water and ACV if you want to and you don't use any metal and it's like a mask that you can put on your arms on your face on your hair it's very good at detoxing whatever you put it on you know 
So my next tip is to drink a liter of water every day. Water just cleanses your body, takes all the toxins out. You might be on the toilet for a little bit. You might, you know, be peeing a lot, but it's worth it to get all that out of your body. Um, especially if you're taking antibiotics or you know probiotics or anything like that it'll help your digestive system work better okay so my next tip is to incorporate vitamins such as zinc vitamin e everybody knows vitamin e is good for the skin things and they also i've heard that they also clear up acne vitamin e and zinc together those pills and uh maybe vitamin a but you want to be, be taking some type of vitamin probiotic every day um even chlorophyll i have the li liquid chlorophyll that you can take and it just purifies your body and you know gets all the toxins out also um aloe vera i just did aloe vera um diy on my channel um is it was for hair growth, but you can use DIY aloe vera treatments for anything, you know, um, your your skin. It's a healing plant. So you can, if you have a burn, you can rub aloe vera on it and it'll lighten up the spot. It'll heal it very quickly. It's just a long green plant that you cut up and chop up, blend it, strain it, and use it. So I would definitely recommend using that. Another thing that really drained my boils was... Um, Turmeric, 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 however you want to say it. I have the powder substance where you can just put it in a drink and I have the pills. So I think the powder works faster because I have, it will start draining like the next day if I like put it in my tea or something like that, the powder substance, it, my boys will start draining the next day. So you want to make sure you have like pads or something underneath there to catch that drainage because if not, your shirts will get ruined. You know, if you have HS, you know your shirts will get ruined underneath the arm parts. Um, you also want to put a hot compress under your arms if you have a boil that is really bothering you. Um, get a, get a rag and run it under some hot water and just place it underneath your arms and just put your arm down and let it sit and keep on doing that and your boil will come to a head or it will go down. These tips are for my KP people. I have KP and HS, so I'm going to give you two bonus tips for the uh, KP, strawberry, legs, chicken skin, whatever you want to call it. Um, you want to dry brush, exfoliate every other day. Dry brushing is when you don't use any water. You just brush your legs with some exfoliator or whatever. And then you get into the shower and you wash it off. My next tip for KP people is use an uh, unscented, unscented soap when you're in the shower. And then when you get out of the shower, you want to get some flaxseed oil. Flaxseed oil. <laughs> yes, flaxseed oil. I ordered mine off of Amazon. Uh, flaxseed oil is very beneficial to the uh, skin when you have KP, especially on the backs of your arms and on your legs. You want to make sure you moisturize your skin with the flaxseed oil when you get out of the shower while your skin is still damp. And it will soften up the... Uh, the kp on your arms if you're consistent with it every time you get out of the shower just do that and you will see a change um just go the natural route is basically the whole thing of this video no scents no dyes no perfumes no parabens no anything scented or anything like that just try to stay away from it try to stay all natural as possible even when it comes to your food your diet and you know, not smoking and drinking water. It all plays a part in your health and your immune system and also a long, healthy life of, you know, dealing with HS. It's not going anywhere. So if you know how to get it to get on out of here, let me know. <laughs> but, but I'm just giving you my tips that have worked for me because I rarely have huge boils like I used to have. I used to have them really bad. I couldn't even sit down because they were like in between my thighs sometimes and everything like that. I would, it, it was bad for me, especially when I was pregnant. So I don't know if it was the hormones or what, but um, I'm on the Depo Provera shot. So that may be a reason why I'm not having boils like I usually do. Um, I've heard Depo gets your hormone hormones in check and sometimes it gets your hormones out of whack so you just got to find what works for you and you know stick to it a healthy life is a good life okay so just remember that if you have any questions or tips for me that i can use also just let me know down below please like comment share and subscribe until the next time her name is tattoo curls and peace